Good morning, Oliver here from Mansell McTaggart. You join me in Rectory Close in Ashington today. We're here to come see this really fantastic four bedroom detached house you can see behind me. Uh, this is number 33 Rectory Close and it's situated right at the end of the cul-de-sac. So really lovely position, um, great for families. So uh, really excited to show you this today. So let's go and have a look around. Okay, so just to give you a quick idea of where we are. This is Rectory Close, really lovely residential cul-de-sac. Mostly detached homes. And we're coming to see number 33, which is situated right towards the end of the cul de sac. And as I bear around, you will just see it start to come into view now. So it's really pretty four bedroom detached house. As I said, end of the cul de sac, but rectory close is really convenient for Ashington High Street, where there's obviously a range of shops facilities and fantastic pub in the Red Lion. Um, there's also an M&S um, in a short, short distance away um, uh, attached to the petrol station um, which is obviously convenient and obviously really quick access to the A24 road network from here. So just give you an idea of the outside as well. So obviously got a generous portion of front garden. We're here in early March, you can just see the daffodils coming in and uh, got lots of off-road parking here on the private driveway. So comfortably you can fit two cars there. Obviously technically the bit in front is a turning area, but obviously it'd be easy to block in the two vehicles. So visitor parking, etc. really straightforward. And of course, you've got the garage there as well. So that gives you a bit of an idea of outside. Let's pop inside and have a proper look around. Okay, so come on in. The first thing you'll note as we enter, we've got a really lovely entrance hall. Nice, easy to clean flooring and stairs leading to the first floor. First door on the right hand side is the study. So this one's actually got actually a really nice pretty window. Kind of a bay window overlooking the front garden. And again, because we're nicely set back here, it's actually got a decent outlook. And you can see there's plenty of room for Bookcases, shelving, storage, desk, all fits comfortably there. So anyone working from home, it's absolutely ideal. And just adjacent to that, we have the downstairs WC. As you can see, again, all white suite, really beautifully presented. And again, just another point of mention, there's a generous understairs storage cupboard uh, just there. And leading through, into the rear of the property, got a really lovely kitchen dining space, kitchen breakfast room, which overlooks the rear garden. And you've got integrated appliances here with fridge freezer. We've got space for a full size dishwasher. As you can see, you've got the double oven there as well, gas hob. Really good quality units, and this has got a lovely view over the rear garden and the paddocks behind. You can see this really generous breakfast bar style table. So it all fits really nicely. And again, you can just see we've got utility here as well with space for an additional tool fridge freezer and washing machine. And again, sort of hanging space for coats and things. The door leads into the integral garage it's worth just mentioning there's an electric up and over door there. And as you can see, moving through into the dining room. So this is just next to the kitchen. And of course there is the possibility, subject to building regs, etc., to remove this wall and create a much larger open plan space across the back of the home if required. But as it is, this is a very nice room. You've actually got a double aspect. You can see here, we've got a generous dining room table and a sofa, so it is a generous size. And this nice sliding door, which leads out onto that really lovely big deck. So I'll show you out there properly in a moment. And then as you can see, there's another set of double doors. So you can close these two rooms off if you wish, but as it is, opens into the sitting room 
And again, you can see there's a lot of furniture in here, but it all fits really easily. Got a very large three-seater sofa, piano, a couple of armchairs. And again, it's got a double aspect, so there's lots of natural light throughout. Again, feature fireplace, and this one's got, again, the view to the front. So overlooking that front lawn, which is lovely. So that completes the ground floor. So leading upstairs, so we've got four really generous bedrooms here. I'll show you the bedrooms to the rear first. So actually the two back bedrooms of this property are both very equal in size, so and both very generous. So um, the first of the, the two, again, these have both got the rear aspect. And as you can see, so we've got here single bedroom, not single bed, should I say. We've also got space there for an additional sort of cot bed, plenty of storage. So it's a very good, generous double. The air and cupboard is in the middle of the landing. And in the second of those two rooms, as you can see there, you've got a sofa bed. Comfortable double. This one's also got same aspect, and you can see here actually pretty substantial recess for the freestanding wardrobe. Main family bathroom, again all nice white suite. Actually just had a new electric shower fitted there. Bedroom four, so this is located at the front used as an additional sitting room study, as a lot of these fourth bedrooms will, but it is actually a very generous single room. You can see here you've got bookcases, window to the front, and I will just pan around, because there are actually two large cupboards. So you've got the tall cupboard on the left-hand side and a cupboard over the stairs, which is quite deep as well. And the final bedroom, of course the main bedroom and this is a beautiful size you can see we've got a large double bed ample bedside cabinets we've got space here for two let me just show you that properly so you've actually got two wardrobes additional chest of drawers and actually the door you're looking at is an additional built-in cupboard as well again this one with the view over the front of the cul-de-sac as you can see, you've also got the benefit here of a lovely, very recently refitted ensuite shower room. So this is absolutely fab. Lovely choice of tiles, fabulous shower, a built-in mirror with light, and of course window to the side as well. Okay, so moving outside, immediately off the um, rear sort of dining area, sliding doors, move on to this really very large actually, very expensive area of decking. So a nice elevated position. The view to the rear is just over a sort of local small holding. Um, gentleman there will stand has a couple of ponies, which is nice, a nice outlook. Occasionally you'll hear the, the sheep and the cows grazing. And just moving around, we move on to a, again, nice extended patio area. The garden's been beautifully landscaped. I'll take you just down there in a minute, but just let me just move you around to the side because we've got a greenhouse and access into the rear of the garage. And you can start to get an idea of the lower section, but you've got these beautiful steps rockery lovely water feature as we come down it actually runs under the steps it's actually really lovely very pretty and that just recycles which is great and then we just move into a lower section of lawn and we've got a small shed in the corner and a very nice summer house in the lower section here, which again is a great place just to sit out and just get a nice view of the back of the house. 
So that's it, that is number 33, Rectory Close. Hopefully you like what you see, but if you have any questions or want to know more, please don't hesitate to give us a call.